Echoes of the Past, Understanding the Origins and Evolution of the British People Britons, often referred to as the people of Britain, have a deep and intricate history that traces back thousands of years. The term Britons originally referred to the Celtic inhabitants of the island of Great Britain, but over the centuries the population has been shaped by waves of migrations, invasions, and cultural transformations that have made Britain a unique and diverse nation. The earliest known inhabitants of Britain were prehistoric peoples who settled the land thousands of years before written history. These early Britons lived as hunter-gatherers, and evidence of their existence can be found in ancient monuments like Stonehenge, which dates back to around 3000 BC. These people were part of the wider European culture of the Neolithic period, characterized by the development of agriculture, permanent settlements, and the construction of large stone structures. As time progressed, the Celts became the dominant group in Britain. The Celts were a collection of tribes that spread across Europe, reaching Britain around 500 BC. They brought with them a distinct culture, language, and way of life. The Celts were known for their metalwork, particularly in bronze and iron, and their society was organized into tribes led by chieftains. They practiced a form of animistic religion, worshipping a variety of gods and spirits associated with nature. The Celtic influence is still evident in modern Britain, particularly in regions like Wales, Scotland, and Ireland, where Celtic languages and traditions have been preserved. The Roman conquest of Britain in 43 AD marked a significant turning point in the island's history. The Romans brought with them advanced engineering, architecture, and a centralized system of government. They established towns, built roads, and introduced new agricultural practices. Roman culture had a profound impact on Britain, particularly in urban areas where Roman customs and lifestyles were adopted. However, the Roman influence was not uniformly spread across the island, and in many rural areas, traditional Celtic ways of life persisted. The Romans also introduced Christianity to Britain, which would later become a defining aspect of British culture. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Britain entered a period of turmoil known as the Dark Ages. During this time, various Germanic tribes, including the Angles, Saxons, and Jutes, began to invade and settle in Britain. These tribes originated from regions in what is now Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. The arrival of the Anglo-Saxons marked the beginning of a new era in British history. The Anglo-Saxons established several kingdoms across the island, each with its own rulers and culture. Over time, these kingdoms merged to form the basis of what would become England. The Anglo-Saxons brought with them their own language, which would evolve into Old English, and their own pagan religion, which was later supplanted by Christianity. The conversion of the Anglo-Saxons to Christianity began in the 6th century, largely due to the efforts of missionaries sent by the Pope. This conversion had a significant impact on Anglo-Saxon society, leading to the establishment of monasteries, the spread of literacy, and the creation of religious art and literature. The Viking Age, which began in the late 8th century, introduced another wave of invaders to Britain. The Vikings, who came from Scandinavia, were fierce warriors and skilled seafarers. They launched raids on monasteries and towns, eventually settling in parts of Britain, particularly in the Northeast. The influence of the Vikings can still be seen in place, names, language, and genetic heritage in certain parts of Britain. The Vikings eventually assimilated into the local population, but their impact on British culture and society was significant. The Norman Conquest of 1066 was another pivotal moment in British history. William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, invaded England and defeated the Anglo-Saxon king Harold II at the Battle of Hastings. This event marked the beginning of Norman rule in England. The Normans were of Viking origin, but had settled in northern France and adopted French language and culture. 
The Norman Conquest brought about significant changes in English society, including the introduction of the feudal system, changes in land ownership, and the construction of castles and fortifications across the country. The Normans also introduced French as the language of the ruling class, which would later blend with Old English to form Middle English. Throughout the Middle Ages, Britain continued to evolve, with the merging of Anglo-Saxon, Viking, and Norman cultures laying the foundation for the modern English identity. The population was predominantly rural, with agriculture being the main occupation. The feudal system dictated the structure of society, with the king at the top, followed by nobles, knights, and peasants. The church played a central role in daily life, influencing everything from education to politics. The concept of the English race as a distinct entity began to take shape during this period, though it was always a fluid and evolving idea. The English were a mix of various peoples who had settled in Britain over the centuries, including Celts, Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, and Normans. Over time, these groups intermarried and blended their cultures, languages, and traditions, creating a unique English identity. This identity was further solidified by the development of the English language, literature, and law. The culture of ancient Britain was deeply rooted in the land and nature. The Celts, for example, had a strong connection to the natural world, which was reflected in their religion and art. This connection persisted through the Roman and Anglo-Saxon periods, with many people living in close-knit rural communities that were dependent on agriculture and the changing seasons. The landscape of Britain, with its rolling hills, forests, and rivers, played a significant role in shaping the culture and way of life of its inhabitants. Professions in ancient Britain were largely centered around agriculture, with most people working as farmers, shepherds, or laborers. The feudal system also created a class of knights and soldiers who served the king and nobility. Craftsmen and artisans, such as blacksmiths, carpenters, and weavers, were also important members of society, producing the tools, clothing, and goods needed for daily life. Trade was limited, but did exist, particularly in towns and cities that were connected to wider trade networks through rivers or the coast. Values in ancient Britain were shaped by the harsh realities of life in a pre-industrial society. Survival often depended on cooperation within the community, and social bonds were strong. Loyalty to one's lord or king was a key value, as was the concept of honor, particularly among the warrior class. The influence of Christianity introduced new values centered around charity, piety, and the importance of faith. Religious festivals and the Christian calendar structured the year, with holidays like Easter and Christmas becoming important communal events. The medieval period also saw the development of English common law, which laid the groundwork for the legal system that still exists today. The Magna Carta, signed in 1215, was a significant milestone in the development of English constitutional law, establishing the principle that the king was not above the law and granting certain rights to his subjects. As Britain moved into the Renaissance and the early modern period, the culture and society of the island continued to evolve. The Protestant Reformation in the 16th century brought about significant religious and political changes, leading to the establishment of the Church of England and the weakening of the Catholic Church's influence. The rise of the British Empire in the 17th and 18th centuries further transformed British society as the country became a global power with colonies around the world. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the 18th century, marked another major turning point in British history. It brought about profound economic, social, and cultural changes, transforming Britain from a largely agrarian society into the world's first industrialized nation. Urbanization, technological innovation, and the growth of a capitalist economy reshaped British society and set the stage for the modern era. The British people, or Britons, have a rich and complex history that spans thousands of years. From the earliest Celtic inhabitants to the diverse population of today, Britain has been shaped by waves of migration, invasion, 
and cultural change. The composition of the English race is the result of the blending of various peoples and cultures, including Celts, Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, and Normans. The culture and values of ancient Britain were deeply rooted in the land, with a strong emphasis on community, loyalty, and faith. Over the centuries, Britain has evolved from a rural agrarian society into a modern industrialized nation, but the legacy of its ancient past continues to influence its people and culture. 